So, um, can I have a raise? That's how I would have asked for a raise before I got a few tips from negotiations expert Maury Tahiripour and career counselor Karen Chopra. Here's how to ask for a raise from NPR's Life Kit. First things first, what to wear. You might not be used to wearing pants these days, but experts say it's important to dress from head to toe. So I'm gonna try on a couple things. First, you've gotta amp yourself up. Acknowledge your own hard work and believe that you're worth the raise that you're asking for. Two, prepare for the meeting by polishing your story. List the ways you meet or exceed expectations. You know, what projects or responsibilities have you taken on? Maybe you're filling in for an employee who's on leave or someone who quit? Point that out and tell your story. Third, Recognize your leverage. Your boss might have more power than you, but recognize that your experience and the value you bring is leverage. Four, approach the conversation with curiosity and empathy. Try to see where your boss is coming from. These are hard times for a lot of companies, but you can still state your value to your boss. Maybe they can't give you a raise right now, but you may as well ask. If it's not possible, ask if you can have the conversation at a set point in the future. Fifth, whether in person or over video call, be present in the conversation. Take time to connect before you make the ask. And definitely don't do it over email. Six, no doesn't have to be the end of the conversation. If you get a no, ask why, and then make a plan to solve that problem. If more money isn't available, what else can you ask for? Stock options? More time off? Seven, don't overthink how you'll be perceived. It's important to pay attention to how your boss is reacting, but don't let that drain your energy. Remember the story of why you're there, what you want, and maintain that energy for making the ask. Eight, practice, but not just in front of a mirror. Practice with someone who can ask you follow-up questions and ask some of the things your boss might say. Nine, you can wear whatever you want when you practice, but experts recommend dressing professionally for the real thing. Number 10, remember, you got this. A quick recap. For more tips to help you get it together, listen to NPR's Life Kit at npr.org slash life kit. If... <laughs> I... Sorry, I just caught a glimpse of myself. <laughs> <laughs>